Hey, what's up you guys? It's Chunky here. Excuse my background. I'm just, this is the best I could do right now. Um, I know that I said I was going to talk about uh, the Tupac movie. And I actually did a video the night that I came home from watching it. But I was very tired. I was a little tipsy. And I forgot a couple of things that I wanted to say. So let's get into it. Um, as a long time Tupac fan um long time I mean I'm down near 30 years old um I've been listening to Tupac since I would have to say maybe like 10 maybe like 10 no not even 10 like 9 um like 9 years old ever since then just listening to his music being a big fan um loving that you could feel his energy through his music now that's hard to do like it's hard to get your your whole heart and soul in music and have people feel it now as a longtime fan through over the years i've collected you know books you know i have some of his um his poem books where he writes his poems it's just a, a book of poems that he's wrote that actually have pages like the actual pages that he wrote them on like I guess they're just copied on the paper but I have that I've collected um you know CDs I've um watched every one of his documentaries now when I heard that this movie was gonna come out I was so excited I was really so excited and I was just like yo just like every one of his other movies when Thug Angel came out on theater um wait was it Thug Angel what movie was it in theater it was so long ago but i went to go see a movie of his in theater was it thug angel or thug i forgot but whatever there there was another documentary of his in the theater and i went to go see it when i was younger and i mean like i'm not like i'm like you know there's some people that fucking go hard for tupac like you know they're just obsessed you know i'm a fan i love his music i go hard for his music but i'm not like oh my god crazy like this day he did this day he did that no i i'm just you know an avid listener and i love him um but i went to go see one of his movies back when i was younger i remember i had to go with an adult because i wasn't old enough and i went and it was just it touched my heart that documentary i'll put right here what documentary it was um but it was just it was like it was amazing it was amazing and i was like damn this documentary was amazing when i want to go see it in theater i know that they're gonna do a good jo job with this video <sighs> with this movie i mean so when i want to go see it um first of all i seen i seen it at the amc theater in montebello um i was not happy with i don't know if there was if, if it was their sound or what it was but it wasn't loud enough like I didn't feel the music bump like I wanted to feel the music in my soul like when I went to this other theater back when I was younger and I seen his documentary in the movie theater it was like his music was like boom 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 like you could hear it in your soul you could feel it in your soul and like it was just so loud this theater I mean you could hear people talking people mumbling people having conversations amongst themselves and that was already like irritating me but I was just like you know what like uh, I'm just over it I'm just gonna I was already tired I'm like just whatever just watch it so i just made myself watch it and even though i was irritated the fact that it wasn't loud enough the music wasn't bumping enough like i wanted the music to be like mm, for shadow jail california dreaming uh, mm, mm, mm. like i wanted to hear it but i mean i wanted to like feel it not even just hear it i wanted to like feel it wasn't feeling how loud the music was i don't know if it was just in the movie or if it was movie theater i don't know about that but Throughout the whole movie, I just wanted more. And as the movie started to come to an end, I started to realize that everything in the movie was everything I already knew. And everything that I seen that was about to happen, I knew what was going to happen. And I was just like, yo, I wanted to see some shit I didn't know. Like, I wanted to see things that I didn't already know. I mean, I I'm pretty sure a lot of people maybe in my age range maybe even younger who knows because there's some young people that are, that are starting to go hard for Tupac that is not really the generation you know these generations coming up you know having their mom and dad hear Tupac so they get into Tupac and stuff like that 
So I think pretty much people that are fans of Tupac already have seen his documentary, seen what he went through, seen his whole life and stuff like that. So I think they would already know what was going on, what was going to go on in the movie. So I wanted to see some shit that I didn't know. Like I thought I was going to go to the movie theater and see something, maybe a few things underneath that I didn't already know. I wish they would have put in more of his artistic side, meaning his poems and stuff like that. Pretty much the whole movie is just... Now, if you don't want me to say what the movie's about, which pretty much everybody knows Tupac, they're gonna know what the movie's about. I mean, it's pretty much already like... We all know he dies in the end, you know what I mean? And it, it's fucked up, but we already know he dies in the end, pretty much. So it's already like... A pretty much fucked up movie because we all know what's gonna happen in the end um so that's why I kind of wanted to see something more I kind of wanted to see something that I didn't know and it was all basically the whole movie was events the big events in his life that happened that we already knew about his mom um, being in the Black Panthers him um, going hard for his music and stuff like that um, you know, um, what else? His mom being on drugs, then the major events where he got with Underground and, um, he got with, uh, Death Row and then he went to jail and it's him talking through whole time through the jail and stuff like that. I, I mean, pretty much I just felt like I already knew everything and I wanted to know something else. I wanted to peek into, you know, his mom has passed now, you know, he's been gone um, I felt like, give us something else. Give us something that we didn't know. I didn't get that. Um, also, I do feel like it was a little bit empty because the movie was a little bit empty. It, it, it wasn't so much like, um, to compare it to Straight Outta Compton, because I know a lot of people are going to compare it to Straight Outta Compton. If it was compared to Straight Outta Compton, um, I feel like Straight Outta Compton, I seen so much shit that I didn't know. That I really didn't know about things and it was just it was really cool the way they the whole thing it was just like really like action-packed and I felt like it was more like that because a lot of people that went through it were still alive and I feel like the Tupac movie All Eyes on Me was kind of empty because I feel like it did it didn't have that that something that someone could put on it like his mom or somebody like Oh, I don't like that part put this part in I don't like that part put this part in this you know put it like this do it like that like I just feel like it could have been a little bit better done as far as the actors this is what I forgot in my other movie as far as the actors um I feel like the actors did a great job I feel like you know I if I could be picky I feel like his the guy that played Tupac should have been a little bit more like a little bit more um you know, a little bit more hyper the way Tupac was. Because I remember, if I could just remember all the stuff I've seen with Tupac, he was always really, like, jumpy and stuff like that, like, really hyper. So I was, I just wish he was a little bit more hyper. He was, he seemed like a little bit more deep, a little bit more, like, I don't know, a little bit more depressed, I guess. That's what I got from it. But I, I don't know, I just wanted something more. Being, being a, a fan, like, I just wanted more. And I don't know. I just felt a little bit disappointed because, I mean, it was something to say I want to go see. It was great for the guy that played him because he looked like him so much. Um, I remember I got a comment when I said I was going to go see the movie the other day. And someone said they were disappointed because some of the actors didn't look nothing like the people like Snoop Dogg and stuff like that. I don't think actors, when they're playing an artist that has passed... Or another artist I don't think that actors have to look exactly like the the person they're portraying I don't think that they need to look exactly like them because I don't think Jennifer Lopez looked exactly like Selena and I think Jennifer Lopez did a great job with Selena she really exuded her even though there was a lot of differences in between the way they look she just she just exuded her personality and she just captured her her as in a whole so I don't think that actors need to look exactly like the person I didn't think Snoop Dogg needed to look exactly like Snoop Dogg as long as he was you know had his similar traits and stuff like that um so in that part I, the actors didn't bother me 
um it was just the whole movie in general disappointed me um i wanted more uh it, to me it was just okay and i was like tupac is so great tupac is so motherfucking great like he doesn't i don't think they needed to make a movie but I, I think that he was just so great that they did him, they didn't do him justice. They just didn't do him justice because he was so motherfucking great. His music is so motherfucking great that that the movie just didn't do him justice because he was so great. But um, with that being said, that's my take on the Tupac movie, All Lies on Me. That's how I feel. Um, by all means, go see it. Judge it for yourself. I'm not saying to not go see it go see it see if i'm right see if i'm wrong see if you like it if you enjoy it let me know your opinion if you've already saw it in the comments below i'll see you next time peace out stay chunky because chunky is beautiful